Alright, as many of you have noticed, this Garen preview is coming up as the champion is released. And this is because of a little bit of a legal issue with Riot, where they don't want us to release anything from the PTR videos of it at least. So, um, I do apologize for this being late, but this is going to be the format for them for now on. And without further ado, I would like to present Garen the Might of Demacia. Riot continues their tradition of going outside the box with Garen in that he literally has no resources and no ability power ratios. Uh, he's limited entirely by cooldowns and his passive gives him all the HP regen he will ever need. So this really is a very good beginning character and because of his skill set it makes him a very strong melee character as well. Garen's passive is one that I find particularly strong. It restores 0.5% of Garen's maximum HP every second that he does not take damage. Once he takes damage, the health regen goes to zero until uh, eight seconds after he stops taking damage. This means that he gains a huge amount of HP back during the laning phase just by playing defensively. And if you manage to get a double kill on your opponents, you can just keep farming creeps and as long as you're careful about your positioning you know you're not the first one the creeps target you're able to continue to restore all of your health and it's very good and it rounds out the character nicely but the rest of his abilities are individually strong as well so I'd like to get into them alright Garen's Q is a movement speed increase that makes your next auto attack deal bonus damage and silence now this ability increases uh, how how quickly you move with every point you put into it so I'm gonna recommend you definitely put points into this secondary alright because the movement speed increase is really nice but I do not believe that the silence duration increases it's a uh, 2.5 second silence from what I can remember it's a very strong silence and a very good ability but the way the bonus damage is calculated is a little weird there's the magical portion of the attack and then there's the physical portion of the attack and each of them can crit separately much like uh, a scourge strike for those that play world of warcraft garen's w is courage and what it does is it provides a self damage reduction i believe it starts at fourteen percent and that's the active component the passive component is that every time you kill a creep you gain armor and magic resist and this goes up to 35 at max rank I believe it starts at first rank at 7 um, this is a very good ability it makes Garen naturally defensive makes it so that he's not going to get blown up and cleaved down just by the AoE alright so he it's uh, it's nice to have one point and it can definitely save your life so I'd recommend putting at least a point into it before level 6 Garen's E is called Judgment, and it is his bread and butter haymaker. It is a spin and win whirlwind that gains damage based on your attack damage and your critical strike rating. So it's not the traditional effect of just stack attack damage like you would with Katarina, because he does get bonus effects from something like Zeal or, fan or an Infinity Edge. All of your getting full use of your abilities with this. So Judgment also breaks snares and makes it so that you can it, it gains the bonus from your speed increases. So if you were to pop like Ghost and Decisive Strike and and an Ash were to like were to just volley you to try and slow you down, you hit Judgment, you, the slow wears off you and the movement speed increases lets you chase her down and whirlwind her. It really is a very strong ability. The damage is great. You can actually one-shot entire creep waves with it. And uh, I would definitely max this first. Demacian Justice is Garen's ultimate, and it is probably one of the hardest hitting abilities in the game, single target wise. Uh, rank 1 it starts out hitting for I believe 175 plus 1 damage for every 4 points of health missing. So basically they dip under 20 and they get one shot. Um, every rank you put into it increases uh, the amount of damage done 
per point of health missing. I think at rank 3 it's 525 base damage plus 1 point of damage for every 2.5 health missing. So basically they dip under 30 and you instantly kill them. And with Garen, dipping someone under 30 is nowhere near difficult. I haven't been able to test this extensively, but I believe that all the damage is applied at once. So it's not like you hit for 525 and then it takes into account how much health they're missing. I believe it happens at the time you hit R and left click on them. And it sh it's worth noting that uh, his R range feels shorter than his melee range. So be a little careful with that and try not to get yourself killed using it. And now for the fun stuff. I tried starting with a health crystal and building phage, but I really didn't like it because his whirlwind doesn't apply the phage effect. One thing I did like was starting with ball brawler's gloves and two health potions and going in straight into an avarice blade and then from avarice blade you pick up boots and then a brutalizer then you make the new item Yomu's ghost blade and as far as actual damage items double zeal is always a good thing but I did like uh, the synergy with the new tanking item Randuin's Omen. Uh, his W and Randuin's can give you a slow even though the character doesn't actually have one. Um, there's really no terribly incorrect way to build him. Um, I wouldn't get... he's not the best Starks carrier because attack speed and armor pen isn't really his thing. You want crit, you want damage, and a really good item with crit and damage is obviously Infinity Edge. So just keep these stats in mind when you go to build him, and using Yomu's should be all of the gap closer you need. Uh, Randuin's has nice energy, but is unnecessary, I, I believe. As far as actual skills, I go uh, E, Q, W, and then I max E out with max and Q secondary. Uh, picking up the first rank in his R is very good. And obviously, you pick up R every time you can get it because it is a very strong single target nuke. Um, if you can use Q, uh, to close the gap then you should do it like hit your Q and then hit your E and it will give you the increased move speed you chase someone down with the whirlwind and then when you pop out of the whirlwind you can silence them uh, you can activate your courage while you are in the whirlwind so you get the damage reduction and all the nice spin and win of warrior paladin twos alright ladies and gentlemen this has been the Garen preview and I hope to see all of you guys very soon